Hi everybody, and welcome back to Minecraft. Now, I know in the last episode the uh, video wasn't all that great. I really didn't get a whole lot done, and uh, the fan was going off in the background. So, but today it should sound a little better, and I uh, went ahead and did some stuff off camera and got rid of the tinky little shack that we had um, I still have that I'm gonna probably change that a little bit um, I have been mining quite a bit and I got a, us a pretty decent shelter going let's take a look in here for a minute I'll show you what I did uh, I kept the doors I don't know if I like them with the cobblestone though. Um, we have a little watermelon farm over there. I found some watermelons off in the distance off that way. And kind of trimmed that side of the uh, dirt down and made this uh, lake look a little more open. Or pond, I guess I should say. And yeah, I spent quite a bit of time building this place um, I'm not sure exactly what I want this room here to be just yet um, I'm thinking this one is going to be the kitchen or kitchen type area where I can make food and smell down the ores too I suppose um, let's see here yeah and there's an upstairs area which is where the bedroom is I'll show you that in a minute and then we have a it's almost like a cupboard, except it's a whole nother room, and it's the uh, what I have for storage room. And I think it turned out pretty, pretty nice actually. I like it. Uh, I don't know if I want to close these stairs off or not. I'm not sure which would look better. I kind of like how it is, but at the same time, I don't, I don't know. Anyway, uh, up here we have just an empty room here that I haven't decided what to do with yet. It's going to be, I want this to kind of stay open a little bit where you just kind of walk in because it's gonna, it leads straight to the bedroom which I should also fill up with some stuff, probably just like some, I don't know, make it look like, just collect, like put some armor stands and stuff in here. And put a door on there eventually. I'm not sure if I want to use the uh, the uh, I think it's a jungle door, but I'm not yeah I'm not entirely sure if I want to use that. And right here, um, it's a little <clears throat> balcony area that I haven't finished yet. I wanted to put I wanted to put uh, a canopy type deal over the top of it, and I kind of wanted to make it look like a uh, almost like a garden, and I think I might just uh, expand this, actually expand it all out a little bit, and actually turn it into a garden, but also try to make it look uh, functional, and like a place where you could just come and hang out and whatnot, while also being a garden. I think that would be pretty neat if I could find a way to pull that off. I might do that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And I trimmed a lot of the grass down to make it look a lot better, except for over there. But I think it does look a lot better than what we had. Um, yeah, and I did quite a bit of mining. Like, a lot of mining. Um, I tried to separate these out a little bit. It's kind of just the miscellaneous stuff. Wood, dirt, stone. Um, yeah, I don't know if I want to use the jungle doors for sure or not, because they, they, I don't know, they don't go extremely well with the cobblestone look. And the only reason I used the cobblestone look is because that I had 
an abundance of cobblestone. And I didn't really want to waste it. I wanted to use it for something, and I had more than enough that I needed for, like, tools and stuff, so I, yeah, went ahead and just used that. But overall, I think the, I think our house turned out pretty nice. Yeah, and like I said, I want to, not entirely sure what I want to do with this little area over here just yet, but I'll figure something out. Let me give you a quick tour of the mine I've been digging up. But uh, we have this little kind of strip mine like thing and I couldn't go very far that way on this side on this whole side of it because it runs right into a bunch of lava and I was going to extend it a little bit further and go this way too but then there's like lava like right behind that and yeah the lava really got in my way here and that goes way 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 down there same thing with all of this this one did this one I did pretty good on I guess I didn't even do that one <clears throat> well, like I said I didn't find a whole lot of diamond I think that's pretty much it but uh, I plenty of redstone which again I'm not very good with redstone but I'm hoping event that I can learn and do something with it. <clears throat> okay, so what I think I'm going to do is um, probably go ahead and build a farm. Okay, so, what I think I'm going to do up here, and I already took the wall down, as you can see, um, I think, I think I'm just going to extend it in this direction for now, and, uh, maybe put, like, some pillars down here to make it look like it's being supported pretty well, and I've already got watermelon, and I think I have some pumpkins down, uh, in my storage chest down there somewhere as well so I think we're gonna do that and see how it turns out I'm gonna go ahead and do this and I think it'll be pretty neat like you're coming up the steps and you look out and you can see like right into this little uh, garden area that's also like a balcony and I think that I think it'll turn out pretty nice I hope So, I will be back whenever I have extended this out, and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, guys. Um, I went ahead and extended it out, and I think this is going to turn out pretty well. Um, what I'm going to do here is instead of just a cobblestone wall all the way around, I'm going to put, uh, in between these walls, I'm going to put colored glass I think uh, not sure exactly what color I'm thinking maybe I think maybe like blue like a blue or maybe red I think blue would turn out a lot better actually um, but yeah we're gonna try that and see what it looks like and then after that I'm going to try to get some grass growing up here and then we can then we can just start planting some crops up here, a few, um, probably, I don't know, I'm thinking maybe just watermelon, for look-wise, but, I don't know, we'll, we'll try some different stuff and see how it turns out, um, Anyway, I'm going to go get some colored glass, and I will put that down and be right back, and hopefully... I can find something to use as a canopy because I really want to put a canopy up here and I tried using carpet but that doesn't work very well um, 
But yeah, I will be right back and we will see how it looks. Okay guys, well, unfortunately I am an idiot. <laughs> Cause uh, the uh, cobblestone walls do not connect with uh, glass panes like I thought they might. But that's okay uh, because it still looks pretty nice I think and then if I get some once I get some grass growing in here uh, I think it'll look pretty good I think <clears throat> so that is gonna be our next step to get some grass in here And we'll then we will uh, start planting some uh, crops in here to see how those go along with it. Uh, see how well they'll work. I'm thinking uh, I'm pretty sure watermelon will do really well up here, uh, as far as look wise goes. And I'm not I'm not so sure about wheat, but we can try it and see. Um, might be kind of neat to get some sugar cane up here. That might be kind of cool. Okay, guys. Well, unfortunately, it is taking a long time for this grass to grow. I actually had to build, like, a little staircase, uh, out of dirt from over there all the way up and over the glass and onto the, this to get it to grow. Um, the only reason for that is I didn't have a, uh, shovel that was, uh, enchanted with I think silk touch I think it is in order to get a grass block so I had to yeah I had to build a little pathway for the grass to grow up and over that and then into here I finally got that started and it's growing a, it's growing a decent decent speed I suppose but uh, uh, it did take forever for it to finally get up here but instead of just standing around waiting for that I uh, Went ahead and did some other stuff here. I'm thinking I'm going to put um, a little, almost like a, a dome. Because I really like that blue glass. And I think it would look really awesome with like water flowing over it. And I think it would be pretty neat to turn this uh, area here into a pathway that leads back here because I do have some stuff back here and then like uh, over the uh, pathway I'm thinking like uh, like a, a blue glass uh, sort of a dome or tube kind of thing with water flowing over it I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to uh, work that in but I will definitely attempt it and see how it turns out anyway uh, while I was waiting on that I went ahead and built this stuff back here um cause I didn't need some wheat there's one sheep that I've been getting wool from and it is way over there somewhere but uh I needed wheat to lure, lure him in and eventually start an animal farm because I am using the wool to uh I think I'm gonna use the wool to build like a canopy over that which you know now that I think about it actually I might just put the uh, some more blue glass uh, blocks over that and then have the water run down and over that and over that pathway yeah yeah I think I'm gonna do that instead that seems like it would be really cool and I can use the sheep's wool still for like carpeting and stuff like that and uh, the overall building I think I want to expand it and make it huge and massive and just uh, kind of turn it into a castle because it's kind of starting to turn it's kind of starting to look like that anyway and turn it into this big giant castle maybe I don't know I think that would be pretty neat I think I'm gonna have it come up and over kind of so it'll be starting from here and then it'll come over that way. And then, yeah, I could use the uh, 
the little blue window panes to go up as a support. So we'll do that and see what it looks like. And if nothing else, I can use clear, uh, clear glass and pour water over top of it if to see if it looks any better. If the blue doesn't work out, but I think the blue is going to work out pretty well. All right, we're going to see how the, we're going to do a little section here and see how that looks. We're going to do it to about right there, I think. I guess I'm going to need even more glass just for this section. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think this is going to turn out really cool. Alright, we'll put these like here. And I'll go get my glass panes to see how it looks as like a support. I'm thinking it's going to look pretty dope. Hmm. I don't know. I might be wrong on that. Hmm. Maybe. Look at that. Hmm. I suppose I could just do glass all the way around it and see uh, how that turns out. It might be. I don't know. Hmm. Let's see what this looks like. I kind of like that. Yeah, I think we'll do that instead. Yeah, and let's see here. How does that look? Hmm. And there's a sp oh, you little dick. The f Get out of there. Douche. Broker did my stuff. I'm gonna have to f fix that, figure out a way. Cause I don't know if uh, a, a gate will work with these or not. I'm pretty sure there's not a cobblestone gate, but uh, yeah, it uh, it does look better open like that as well. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. I'll uh. When I build that path, I'll have it kind of come this way and wrap around. And uh, I'll put like a, a stone wall up around up around that so that they can't get over it. Well, I guess a spider still could, but there's not much I can I do about that. I think it turned out pretty awesome. Uh, it's not completely finished, obviously. I don't have the uh, water flowing over it just yet, but I am starting to set up for it. I'm probably not going to finish that in this video, um, but I will, uh, I'll record myself building that so that you guys can kind of see what I did, uh, do to get it to work. Anyway, I will show you the inside real quick. Okay, and I uh, opened this up a little bit more. I think it looks a little bit better like that. Um, I might change these into, like, uh, pillars or something to make kind of an archway. That way, not the entire, that way the 
it's not all you know cobble because kind of gets old to see that pattern over and over again uh, but anyway right here I decided just to use a full block for like the pillars and I think that turned out really well uh, a lot better than what it was I'm gonna leave this open yeah, and I have another pillar here, here, you know, and all the corners. And I'm going to leave this middle part open because I think it looks really awesome. Especially when there's going to be uh, water flowing over it. It'll be like right here in front of you. And uh, most of it will probably be off this way a little bit though. And I opened another uh, area up that leads to the bedroom. And... I, I kind of like it. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave it or not. Um, you guys let me know if that looks good or not. And if whether or not I should keep it. Because I think it looks pretty good. And there is going to be more added to this bedroom uh, the further along we go. Um, because it, it, it is pretty plain right now. And it's way too big for just you know one little bed. I'm going to actually add another bed here in a minute just to make it look a little, fill up the space a little bit. And I have a staircase that I added going up to the roof here. And this is what I'm going to do up here is where I'm going to put all the water and stuff. And I'm going to try to make this look like a functional area as well. Instead of just, you know, plain water running off the edge. I mean, that would look okay as, as well. But it, I think it would be much better if there's some actual, actual uh, functionality up here. And like have an actual reason for the water being here other than an aesthetic. But, yeah, I will uh, be doing that in the next video. So, yeah, <laughs> I think that does it for this one. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know if I should uh, put in the archways right here, down there, and on there, and whether or not I should even keep that one. And uh, let me know if you have any ideas for what I should do inside here, because I don't know if, you know, watermelon alone is going to do what I want. Because I want it to be kind of gardeny, but at the same time, like a, a like a, a zen garden kind of thing. Like, you know, peaceful. Like, uh, anyway. That does it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one, and thank you for watching, and I will see you later.